You want more? I got more. Please meet John Mighton, a.k.a. Mad Jack, a British eccentric, one-month politician, big-time spender, who liked to ride naked when he was hunting foxes. John's family was quite rich, okay? And his dad died when he was two, so he was left the family seat, okay? And the fortune. So listen, he was sent to boarding school. He got into a fist fight with one of the principals over there, with an administrator, and he got his butt kicked out. So his family decided, well, we're going to get tutors. And he tortured all these tutors, so it was like one after the next, with his pranks. He even one time brought a horse and left it in his tutor's room. He grows up, he goes on to university, it don't work out for him, it's very boring, very, and so he never got his degree. He ends up in the military for a bit, not the career choice that he wanted. So he starts paying people, okay, 10 pounds each person, which in today's money is quite a bit. Um, to vote for him for parliament and they do he wins he goes to his first political talk and it's so damn boring that he's like no this ain't for me and he left so much money had he and so frivolous was his spending that he would just like leave money sitting around so anyone who would go to his house would just have it he gave all of his stable boys ice skates. He had 2,000 dogs. 2,000 dogs. And his best dogs were fed steak and champagne. Of course. His horse. His horse lived in the house. Yeah. Anyway. His wife, his second wife was like, no. Nah and leaves okay and just runs away from him he's going broke his attorney's like listen we're gonna have to live on six thousand pounds a year his literal quote i wouldn't give a damn to live on six thousand pounds a year he ends up going to calais and he meets a 20 20 year old woman and he pays her 500 pounds a year to be his companion Towards the end, he started drinking between six and eight bottles of alcohol a day. He had the hiccups. He set himself on fire to try to cure them. It worked. He was burned. He ends up going back to England and they arrest him for his debt and he passes in prison.